Hi everyone and welcome to worship with St. James United Church during July. Well, myself, Monica, the minister, is going to be off on holiday, so we're filming these beforehand. And uh, we're going to be going around town and, and going to some of our favorite spots and uh, having the backdrop of the beautiful natural beauty of this land. And we remember that this land was the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek. And uh, all around us, we see um, the beauty and the care that has been taken in this place. And uh, we are a treaty people. Uh, the treaty was signed in 1850 between nations. It's called the Huron-Robinson Treaty. And uh, we all try to live into it as best we can. It is a living document, and we are a treaty people. So welcome to this place and to worship. Welcome to worship again and uh, today we're standing just down from Belvedere and uh, when I'm in Belvedere visiting people I often come over here and look out over the sound and get to see how it looks in the different seasons of the year. So um, welcome to this place and to this worship. Let us pray. My brother the star, my mother the earth. My father, the sun, my sister, the moon. To my life, give beauty. To my body, give strength. To my work, give goodness. To my house, give peace. To my spirit, give truth. To my elders, give wisdom. Holy God, we pray for strength. We pray to come together. We pray to the weeping earth. We pray to the trembling waters and to the wandering rain. We also pray to the whispering moon, to the tiptoeing stars, and to the hollering sun. God be with us as we worship. Amen. The Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking towards them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It's a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you have little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased and those in the boat worshiped him saying, truly, you are the son of God. 42 as the deer pants for the water, which is found on page 766 in your hymn book. Funny little thing about our hymn books, they have two different versions. And we're singing uh, one that you might not have in your hymn book, the second and third verse, but just uh, follow along and uh, just be aware of that as we sing.
story for today, uh, we often focus on the miracle of Jesus walking on the water. Um, but today I want to focus on uh, the doubt of Peter. And uh, really what makes him sink is that he doesn't trust himself. And he doesn't trust uh, Jesus as well. So I think the call, one of the calls of this story is to just trust ourselves, trust what God is calling us to do, and um, trust that we were created exactly how we were supposed to be. And so Richard Wagamese is going to help us learn a little bit about that. Sam? I've been referred to as odd before, O-D-D. -D. Nowadays, I prefer to refer to myself as odd, A-W-E-D. I want awe to be the greatest ongoing relationship in my life. I want to move through my days floored by the magnificence and generosity of my Creator. The breaking of a day, the silence between words, the light emanating from real conversation, and kindness, truth, love, and the apparently random hand of grace. I want to be gobsmacked by all of it rendered speechless by wonder. I await the next unfolding. Peace, friends, be awed today. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may God give you peace all the days of your life. Amen.